Oh, boy. Yeah, well, we're off to a bang. Oh, Funk Tank start. streaming. Shoot, oh, we better fuck. tune in fast. Go, gotta go listen to that shit. Yeah, Quick. Um, that really is the uh, the middling point of my week. Only the middling? Gosh, your week is... Sure. No. I'm going into on, my Discord settings. On Discord. My microphone is right. Your, your microphone it's sounds bad. great. Your microphone sounds like garbage. We're not starting. Um, the podcast will not start. Till your microphone <laughs> works right. Yeah. Yeah, my microphone's all set up right. In Discord. To me, but it does sound like oh. you got like a tin can between you and the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bad. That's what I'm talking about. It's like not particular. It's not like it's not it's, like hot garbage. Just it's, regular garbage. It's garbage compared to your voice. Uh, to Eric's Ooh. voice is good. Your voice. Your voice is garbage. You've a garbage voice. Under Fucking us. Take it out. Restart Discord. Get out of here. I'm trying. I'm honest. Hmm. Oh, Andreas has left the chat room. This is <laughs> this is not an improvement. Oh. oh, oh, oh no, he, he he's possessed. It's it's it's. Uh -oh. In this episode, we're being monetized, right? Bing bong. Yeah, so I, I, my entire life is monetized at this point. Mm. If you're not monetizing it, you gotta hustle and uh, work harder. <laughs> I can't put my arms in a spot that. Yeah, these armrests you, are atrociously. Yeah, I need wrong. to build a chair body. that lines up with this VR chair. Okay. This is. So, <laughs> yeah, well, unlike oh. you guys, I was doing this podcast in VR while sitting on the floor for the first several episodes. Then I got a chair. Fuck. It's not a very good chair. Oh. It leans back way more than the VR chair, so I look like I'm sitting very awkwardly. But in reality, I'm very comfortable. Eh, I gotta important. get the stuff off the chair. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is coming. So um, yeah, we should probably just go live. This isn't gonna. We are happen. live. Are we, we are live. We yeah, we're live. This we've is live. Been we're live. broadcasting to the world. You fucking with your mic and Calvin finding a chair. Yeah. And oh, then we're talking well, about where our hands fucking are. Fucking professionals. Uh, over here. I would say roll the intro. This is the most comfortable I've been in uh, in uh, Funk Tanked. I've got a fancy chair, and look, my arms kind of sit on my knees somehow. Like yeah, you you look like a robot that's like kind of gangly and oversized and would yeah. need to rest their arms on their knees because yeah. they wouldn't fit in human chair. Yes. Look, so. I have I actually have a, a flight controls here. Look, I can play. Choo, 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 choo. We can't see that, I don't think. Yeah, God. but you can see my hand moving <laughs> in the controller motion, yeah. right? I would point I out this is my hands in controller one mode. step removed from how our audio <laughs> listeners feel yeah. about all the fucking visual cues. Yeah, yeah, now you're yeah. showing us shit that we can't see. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> like, pew, goddamn. Pew. All right. Yeah, we um, real intro. Oh. Fucking. Be quiet. If you make noise, they can see you. Think, thunk, think, thunk, tay. It's time for thunk tay. Hi. Welcome to Thunk Tank. My name is Calvin. Uh, I play a little computer on televisions. Now, hi, my name's Andreas. Uh, I'm not a middle-aged banker, but I do genetically match one perfectly. Oh. Huh. Hi, my name's Eric, and I'm not a lawyer. I'm not your lawyer, and nothing I say should be construed as legal advice. But you can pay him to represent you oh. in court. No, 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 no. No? I'm not a lawyer. I'm pretty sure you can pay anyone to represent you in court. They just, like, aren't can't legally be a lawyer. Can't you have representatives that haven't passed the bar? I'm pretty sure that's allowed. That sounds like I would have to be a lawyer to tell you the answer to that question. Oh. I can represent myself. Why can't I hire Frank from down the road? Because he's good at talking oh. so, to be my lawyer. My guess is because all politicians are lawyers and they make laws to protect themselves from other people stealing their jobs. Your, your mouth doesn't move. you got to make your God mouth move. Fixing my Fuck. mouth. We were... We were, we were we were Doing so good at like podcasting. 10 minutes. And we didn't notice his mouth. I didn't notice his mouth still not moving. Yeah. How's well, that? Uh, you're, I don't muted. Know. you're muted. You're well, muted in VR chat. Welcome to the audio podcast. Welcome to the audio podcast. Welcome to the audio, it's podcast. An audio podcast now. But we're going to be V-casters, I thought. I'm so confused. We are V-casters. We're video podcasters. I'm using my telepathic powers to insert my words into everyone's brain. Cool. Oh, that's, that's, well, pretty, that's pretty cool. Welcome to being mildly acidic. Um, <laughs> joke is, that was a visual joke. God damn it. Um, fuck. Audio podcast. Right. So I've been thinking a lot about uh, yeah. interest. 
In right, I'm interested in things. Interest, and I've been thinking a lot about inflation. What? Well, right, uh, you're interested in inflation. Well, yes. Well, they're both per- de- described as percentages, so they're basically the same no, thing, no, no. except opposite. But like, why are you? Yeah. But you've been thinking about interest, and your interests are in inflation. Sure, you can say that. Are we doing um, puns now? What? What puns? Uh, he's he's, I'm trying to <laughs> he's been thinking about interests, I thought. So inflation's around 2%, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. A year. In... Two, what, two and a half. What are we inflating? Yeah. So inflation is the mark of how much value your money loses per year. You're inflating money? Or the increase of prices. You know how stuff is more expensive now than it used to be? Okay. That's because of inflation. Right. Prices right. inflate. Okay. And it, it averages to be around 2% like reduction in the value of money. So fake per fake year. fake inflation. The the type of the type of inflating that's not real. This is just no. No, no yeah, nothing's oh, having air non, inserted into yeah. it. It's non physical. Yeah. Fake fake inflation. That's uh, the yeah. kind of inflation you're interested in. Right. That so it's about two percent a year, right? Sure. Okay. So I've got a couple of things. One is if you save money, you're basically losing money. Right. You should so. spend all your money as soon as you get it. Ah, Or wrong. invest in stocks. Wrong. You should pay for things as late as possible. Unless there are late fees, yes. Right. So having a credit card saves you. If you uh... buy things at the beginning of the month <laughs> and you pay it at the end of the month, it saves you 0.165% if you value. never pay interest, that is vaguely true. Well, you don't pay interest on credit cards if, if you pay within the month that you purchased it. At the That's end of the month. That's true for some credit cards, but also you have to pay; otherwise, they will charge you interest, and this doesn't work. But well, yes, this neat, is in a world where you're theory. worried about two percent of your money every year going away, and not a world where you're trying to make it from bill to bill. I don't yeah, worry about I'm, anything. Right. That's I, a good right. plan. And so I was just thinking. Money decreases in value constantly mm, is the yes. idea, right? So how do you abuse that? And one way is to to pay for things way after you've committed to buying them. Okay. Right? And you've gotten sure. them. Huh. Get things, pay later. Yeah. But so you're paying with, with money that's worth less than when you decided to buy it. Right. Yeah. Ah, I get it. Because money's constantly losing, losing value. Losing value. So you're giving them but but the thing the the other thing is the thing that you're buying that's lost value too. Oh no, because the prices yeah. have inflated. It's not a value of the goods; it's a value of the money. So changing, what you should really. do is never have any money and only have goods. Exactly. Yes. Invest in gold. Uh, be one of those. That's like, buy gold. Why that's actually not the stupidest idea possible. What if I invested in, in instead of investing, I just. I just make sure that I'm constantly spending all of my money. And then when I want more money, I just sell some of those things. It depends what those things are. If when they I want... don't retain their money, their well, money value, money, the value. Uh huh. But <laughs> it doesn't the matter. Things don't retain value. But they'll, okay. Like, right? so like a like, car, I don't want to buy just cars. Um, well, no, but maybe. Maybe. Most cars. Most cars, yeah, yeah, and like cheap especially cars. If you're driving it around, don't drive um, all of my cars that I'm buying with all of my money, right? But do buy, do buy like things. I don't know what go, what's pretty standard prices. Yeah, stocks. Stocks. I just buy more stuff. This is this is making a lot of sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> so like. What else? What what does inflation do for us? That's positive. Um, it's uh, it's imaginary. So, so that's good it, for it, our imaginations. Do love that. It does things over long terms. So long term loans like mortgages are affected significantly by inflation. So are you saying if I buy a house? And they charge me a huge percentage. That percent percentage technically decreases by two percent per year, ish, sort of. But that's not. It's more complicated than that. But also, mortgage interest is tax deductible, so there are additional benefits there. If you get the right mortgage, you can actually technically make a profit. 
that's fucking... unlikely to happen because banks like making profits. So it, you'd have to get very lucky and like lock in a very good interest rate mm. and uh, inflation would have to be above average. And, you know, your house would have to not lose value. Those sorts of things that aren't actually going to happen. But it's the sort of long-term effect of paying 30 years from now when money is worth, I don't know what 2.5% compounding over 30 years is, but that's a lot. Um, oh, it's uh, like 30, oh, over 30 years, right. Yeah, uh, it's like, shit, yeah, that's like, uh, is that 60%? Mm. Yeah. I it might be, I don't know. But you also get the utility value of having a house. That's true. Which but, is, so, again, a lot of value there. What causes inflation? The government. Why? Uh, they think it's good for the economy. Mm. Partly because the psychological effect of numbers going up makes people think the economy is better. Oh, well, that's, that's good. I'm glad we've got <laughs> that all sorted. Then. Um, <sighs> so here's the other question. Um, how did, how does like, yes. Yeah. Why don't we just buy things and then sell them later? Yeah. That seems to be the way around. Things, things lose value when they're used, which is why you should buy used and then sell them later. Right. When they're worth like, more. Right. You got to buy only, only like, uh, nostalgic things. <laughs> well, Maybe or things, things that will that be don't lose nostalgic. value over time. Shrek right? toy. Very Shrek toys. Shrek toys. Shrek toys. Exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Kids love Shrek. Kids love they Shrek. Shrek. Get those Shrek toys. Beanie Babies. Get like a million of them. Oh, those are really high in value right now. Are they? No. High relative to how they've been recently, or high relative to how high people thought they would be in 1999. Oh, I heard a thing. I heard a thing that Dr. Seuss books skyrocketed in value but the ones that were banned Ooh. yeah a few of the banned ones like sold for large prices on ebay but i don't think uh that's not gonna that's be gonna a stay that's not a normal thing because there are tens of thousands of those out in the world yeah and they aren't really the good dr seuss books yep like yeah. i had a lot of dr seuss books as a kid and one of the ones they've stopped publishing is one of those that i had as a kid and it was not my favorite book by a long shot I mean, it's almost like the ones that are like, I'm assuming it was racist shit, but it it was just assuming definitely racist. That's why they stopped. Yeah, publishing it's weird them. how racism isn't like a super fun overtone for well, any. Book, it was really. the, the theme of the books was never racism. It was just casual racism, like people in yeah. the past didn't realize this was racist, even though it should have been completely obvious. And like mm. if they were like today they'd have been like oh dr seuss would have probably been horrified with how racist some of his shit is like if it was pointed out to him yeah he yeah given the context like of a those pretty other serious stuff. anti-semite i think and was like probably not have been upset about being like that because he's a piece of shit mm -hmm. yeah, might, might not have been the best person people are complicated yeah but, uh we get like, the whole it's, it was like very death of the, the, the racism thing. in the dr seuss books was very casual racism the ones i remember were about asian people just asian stereotypes yeah that's all that i can and remember too. like apparently back then we didn't realize this was bad and Weird. now we do yeah well this has taken a negative really well, down you know um, uh, anyone have any ideas that aren't uh, based around the slowly okay. bending doom of the economy? I've or, got it. Or racism? <laughs> I've got it. Yes. Okay, so you know how there are uh, the cars that have truck beds in the back? Right. Sure, those are awesome. Truck front, normal car in the back. That's what I'm suggesting. Except you might <laughs> yes! say, hold on, except you might say, but uh, Kelvin, what happens when you just take the bed off the back of a a truck don't you then get like you know just like a basically a skeleton back there that's yeah. not anything new and i'd say you're goddamn right so just cut the whole back of the car off or the truck so it's just two the wheels. front of the truck with two wheels okay two wheel trucks then what you've got uh is a self-balancing electric truck <laughs> that's not a truck Right? 
Oh my god. You get it to, you know, you get it to fall forward and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, and then, then you might be uh, saying to me, Calvin, that sounds ridiculously unsafe. Safe. How does that break? And I say to you, are the people that buy monster trucks worried about being safe? No, they're not. Yeah, I feel like the people who buy monster trucks and the people who buy uh, hoverboard trucks. Hover are, trucks. Uh, it's a hover yeah, truck. Yeah, yeah. Let me also explain. Yes, you you hit on a very important fact. It's a hover truck. We are yeah, in the future. That, that the is important. Actual future hover trucks. So you, I, I hate to say it, but that is the most important point so far. Yes, this is, is that, a marketing is, dream. Call it a hover truck. It's a marketing dream. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> like, like, I think there might actually realistically be a model for pickup truck style vehicles without the truck bed but yeah like four wheels oh because so, like a lot of people like the pickup truck aesthetic but don't use their truck beds for like anything yeah so here's what i'm gonna pitch right now mm. is uh cut the back off of a truck yeah, yeah we're yeah. gonna come back to your hover truck okay cut thank, the bed, you, thank the you bed off cut it all off stick the two wheels onto the back of the truck uh-huh just make it much fucking shorter it's super tiny Super tiny, like cute, ultra like, short bed, bed pickups. This would be like people would probably like compete to see who could get the shortest bed. Ooh. Oh, oh, I kind of like that. Like a half a foot bed. <laughs> that, that one jackass <laughs> barely down, fit down the corner has like three inches of truck bed. The yeah. rule is it has to have a functioning gate on the back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, tr- <laughs> the tailgate to nowhere. I want two wheels right next to each other. They barely don't touch. Right. And then like, so there's one wheel and then like the back of the truck comes down to about the center of the wheel. And then it just kind of like curves around the wheel. Yeah. 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 And the bed is like, you know, that half of the bed. The bed has half a wheel well sticking out. Yeah. So it's even harder to put anything. in Yeah. Yeah. Like there's a whole wheel coming out of like the back end of the truck. Man, that, oh, this, uh, I we should design say, automobiles. We should. We I'm really gonna start because clearly I can do some these 3D models. Have been doing it. Have got no idea what they're doing. Next week on Thunk Tank, stop by our YouTube channel to see an actual illustration of the uh, both the self balancing truck, hover truck, and mm. and the shortest mm. bed on a truck you've ever seen in your life. Uh, <laughs> And if you subscribe now to our Patreon, those won't be in crayon. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) So hover trucks, though, great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the fact that they're incredibly energy inefficient. All of them, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's a... Hover cars, hover buses. They're they're hybrid electric. Uh, The only way you're going to pull this off is with uh, uh, an electric... uh, um, oh, absolutely. Mo- motors in the thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's still inefficient. Is it, yep. though? You're yep. hauling no. a lot less weight. It might be more efficient than driving your big, useless I, empty oh, truck. Yeah, no, it definitely it's is definitely more better than, than a truck, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I just meant for, like, stick stick two more wheels on it, and it's better. But then it's not a hover truck. That's you true. don't get the weight savings of having only two wheels. I mean, I feel like the wheels aren't really the the heavy part of a truck, but I could be wrong. You might be surprised how heavy a wheel is. Mm. But that's not the point. The point is that the the whole car at front tilts forward to move forward. Mm-hmm. That's just rad. Yeah, I would it like feels to point like out super fast because gravity is pulling you forward. Yeah. When you when you park it, right? Uh huh. Which side does it fall onto, and how do we make that not? <laughs> there's a okay. So, uh, <laughs> there's an internal uh gyroscopic flywheel that gets spun up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got about two hours before your truck falls over. You gotta start it up again. I 
you can do probably do that automatically. Yeah. Just occasionally One? power up the flywheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Or you could just have like landing gear. But yeah, right. no, that's because see the thing is, is there's a hybrid uh gas electric. So what you do is you've got to keep putting gas in it. So it's just as inefficient as a normal truck. <laughs> It's more efficient while you're driving it. That's it's the yeah. So you sh yeah, so perfect. so you got to be driving it pretty much all the time in order to make money on to, to like. You know. I'd like to point out MPH does not count <laughs> account for not moving. <laughs> yeah, you get the truck does have to hour. run a hundred percent of the time. Yeah, but the miles per gallon are excellent. <laughs> yeah. The gallons per hour are terrible. Terrible. <laughs> it's just Gee basically God. hook it up to a fuel line. You can lean it up against your house, maybe. <laughs> maybe you can like one of those plug-in electric type things, plug it into your house. Yeah, to park what it. it. What if you just put some spikes on the back bumper that like uh -huh. can with would, would, like they they can extend back from behind the bumper and you just kind of reverse it into the back of your house uh, and the spikes just, just kind of nest it in there and rest it just uh, stab it into place. Right, exactly. Yeah. So this I is I mean you could have like a sheet of plywood or something that that does goes into uh, sacrificial plywood this, holes. This is definitely or the biggest like problem with the hover dog. truck. This is definitely Agreed. the biggest problem. Um, like, it would just parking spaces would have to have like things for the bottom of the truck to rest on. Hmm. It's like raised what, rectangular pieces. What or about a little landing gear? What about kickstands? Little landing gear would work. What about kickstands? Eric did say kickstands like earlier. Kickstand, yeah. Kickstand, okay. But like, oh, those would minus also five be cool. points. Mm, <laughs> hmm. They are pretty cool. That is true, though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, put your put your vote in the comments below. Uh, kickstand or just ram it into your house every day. Yeah, uh, please let us know what you landing, think Pat. is uh, the best way to go about that. Landing pads for your hover hover truck. All right, Eric, I, it, I'm pushing it over to you here. So I have on my ideas list: is ice a mineral? <laughs> <laughs> this is a good question. This is a very good All right. question. All right, let me uh, let me preface this by saying I took uh, general chemistry, uh -huh. and uh, I don't remember almost any of it. And with that, I'm gonna say, well, it is kind of a crystal, and it's not like carbon-based biological stuff. That's so true. It's, so it's got to be a mineral, right? Well, Look. there's other things. There's other things, but it's. Hmm. Well, what what name a mineral? Salt. Salt. Okay, salt. Let's say we take salt. All right, and you get salt really hot. It's a liquid. And it's a liquid. Is it a mineral? Yeah. Ice is, is a mineral. Ice is a mineral. I think ice is a mineral. I don't think ice is a mineral for like, whenever I talk <laughs> to anyone. In a professional capacity. <laughs> but for the rest of my life, ice is a mineral. <laughs> you're, you're worried you might be shamed by your scientific colleagues? I'm not worried I it... might be shamed. I know. <laughs> I'm not shamed. There's nothing to worry about. It's absolute. Okay. Is... Hmm. Hold on. Like... What the, I I would like a better definition of what a mineral is because I feel like it's a very yeah what's a mineral very I didn't bother to stupid. look that up I think it's I think it's a like arbitrary thing it's like it's like back with like the uh, the four elements kind of thing it's it not has like to come a real, out of ground it has to come out of the ground it's not a real thing you know no no minerals come out of the ground ice comes out of the ground right yeah but polar ice caps. It's, it's rocks. You can't. Rocks are hard. <laughs> so ice is so hard. Ice is a mineral. <laughs> ice is hard. Um, <laughs> this is such a great question because it's so stupid. Be... <laughs> yeah. If you eat too many minerals, you die. <laughs> if you drink too much water, you die. If you bathe in lava, you die. Yeah. True, but that one's that one's a point for my side where ice isn't a mineral. Wow, <laughs> I don't know. I think if you eat too much ice, you'll die. 
You, you, yeah, you have you, you, people you have literally bathe. died from drinking too much water. So you, I assume you, you can equally do the same with ice. Plus you frostbite. Can, you can't bathe in any minerals. Lava. No, can't do it. No, You'll yeah, die. you don't. You don't sink in lava. You float on it. Oh, but like, but wait, that, is, is there a rule that minerals have to be more dense than people? Now, now we is understand. Now. now we know what how to define mineral. Everyone, congratulations! We've got yeah, there. yeah. Go <laughs> go to the edge of town. Grab that old lady that seems weird and throw her into it. And if she floats, it's a mineral. You yeah, know, the liquid I didn't state. Think we'd have to do the. We are not geologists. This is not geological <laughs> advice disclaimer. <laughs> Good thing we had it queued up in advance, anyway. Uh. Um, so. All right, what is a mineral? It's um, <laughs> rocks. metallic rocks. That's a are metal. metals minerals. Some of them. Metals are metals. Metals are metals. So when I think of minerals, I think of like the ones that you need to eat to survive. Yeah, vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and yeah. minerals. ones in Ovaltine. Yeah, exactly. There's there's fucking delicious exactly. delicious Ovaltine. Um, and God, does Ovaltine have merch that I can wear? Water, <laughs> water. You need to survive. We're like eighty percent water, right? True. Yeah, Th- something like that. And ice only ten percent of our brain does anything. Ice is such a mineral. Ice is such a mineral. No one's contesting Agreed. the ten ten percent of your brain thing. You, you've you've lost that. No one, we yeah, just, I know. I was it's really, just I was really trying to bait you. It's not happening. <laughs> no one just no one. It's just a, it's just a fact now. On I actually tanks. have a question. If you did use 100% of your brain at a single time, uh-huh. like how, how much battery power does my body have? That's a good question. Like a few millivolts, probably? It's but, actually like, quite a I'm bit. I'm curious, though. can I, how many brains can I power at one time before I have problems? Like, what's my, what's <sighs> kind of my like current bottleneck in my body? It's definitely like so much of our body has been built up around making sure that the brain has enough juice to go. It's right. It's a huge detriment to the rest of our systems. We have so much in place to like deal with having a large brain. What what a great problem to fucking have. Yeah. I think the so, main obstacle to having a second brain is oxygen intake. I don't yeah, think yeah. you can get enough oxygen yeah, yeah, in yeah. you. No, bull, bull fucking shit. They say people people are like, oh, yeah, I only have 30% lung capacity. Fuck. If you're at 100 and you only need 30, you can you can get three motherfucking brains in there. Wow. <laughs> people lose lungs. <laughs> they have so, one lung. And they're so, like uh, they're they're not you know like mentally in incapable, you know they're I think normal. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I th- I'm pretty That's a pretty sure. good argument. Yeah, yeah, just like ice being a mineral. Yeah, uh, we are here <laughs> to present good scientific arguments based on facts. We're pretty sure we remember. Mm-hmm. Or you know stuff that feels right. Yeah, yeah. You know I like, that's I have to say facts, though our quality of uh, Thunk Tank has improved drastically since we've been in vr and unable to check search engines <laughs> oh god yeah, yeah thank thank the fucking lord uh yeah the ability to google things away. really ruins yeah uh, really ruins the ability to speculate wild, wild. conjecture <laughs> yes <laughs> it just kind of goes downhill once you can look something up yeah i yeah, mean what's we the knew the answer we wouldn't be able to talk about uh-huh it. exactly exactly um so uh yeah you got any more of those brain twisters right there? Um, no, I, I wrote down <laughs> IQ tests are racist. Whoa. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold Whoa. on. That, how that's so? That's just a fact. Is it? Oh. Wait. Yeah. How? Probably. Because it's made they're... by white dudes in like the 40s. And it's but, inherently based but, around them wanting to feel smart. No, but. Well, so. so it doesn't measure. Oh, good, good. They are racist. It's a, it's a fact. But the reason they're racist is partly because of numbers. It's not like the scientists who developed it were intentionally racist. Yeah. But when you're averaging out populations, minorities will fall differently on the same, will do differently on the same test. And since the majority is what's being sort of counted as normal, it inherently disadvantages minorities. Wait, what? 
Okay, I don't Wait, understand. No. So, 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 like, so IQ tests are sort of a most of them. Some IQ tests are different, but most IQ tests are sort of averages of people in the same category. And what? Yeah. Right. So you're being compared. Like a to 100 your IQ peers. isn't a fixed point. It's the average of people who took that test. Well, that's stupid. Why would you do that? IQ because tests it's... are stupid as hell unless you're using them to like figure out who needs like different help in school or something. It's like, oh, you're behind your peers. You need extra help. Oh, you're ahead. We're going to put you in this thing. But fundamentally, IQ tests are kind of useless because IQ yeah, isn't like a not... fixed value. If you and took you... an IQ test be... once and you did really well, that doesn't mean you're still smart today unless you've been like doing <laughs> stuff to – no things. Sure, okay. Yeah, hear that? Look, People who are in that fucking society that I hate more than I we're really not should. name you, but you know who you are. Can't remember what that society is. The society is. of people who did good on a test once. There's a society for high IQ people, and they're there an insufferable are group of societies, and they're all bullshit. Uh, they're all insufferable. Uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was a kid, they said, Calvin, you've got a learning disability. And I was like... Uh, okay, I don't like doing homework. And then uh, they put me, they took me in and they gave me an IQ test. This guy came in and he gave me this thing and I went through and I, there was all these like really easy problems and I just like gunned through this IQ test. Uh, and they came out and they're like, what the hell is going on? Why does he have such a high score compared to, why doesn't he do his homework? And then they put me in special ed classes. Boring, probably. Um, right. No, that you see, that's a perfect execution. Gave me Ritalin. Of the I nice. <laughs> you can sell that. You know, you're not supposed to. Don't sell Ritalin. I didn't know when I was a. I, I mean, I would have, you know, put. No, account. you wouldn't have. Don't say that. I, yeah, I probably wouldn't. Have. <laughs> <laughs> We're not supposed to admit that we would deal drugs if given the chance. We're fictional characters. It's a fictional podcast. Everything we say is illegal advice. <laughs> um, so I have a question. Uh, back wow. to the IQ thing and it being about peers. Mm. Um, so I would like to point out, can I, in a court of law, if I have taken an IQ test and gotten a really high score, be like, yo, this jury is not a group of my peers. I'm too, too fucking smart. Dumb. <laughs> yeah, that won't go well in court, oh. I don't think. Would it would it go better if I had a really low IQ and I'm like, nah, these motherfuckers are too smart. They won't understand my perspective. They are you not know? my peers. Um, if your IQ is low enough, you can be like adjudicated not guilty for reasons of like mental incompetence. Yeah. No, I don't want that. Yeah, you I know what? Really... Well, it's really hard to fake whether you like it or not. It's really hard to fake being super <laughs> smart. But it's so easy to fake being dumb. I actually disagree. No, I don't it, think so. It's pretty easy to fake being smart. I do it all the time. It's also... <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> right, but here's the thing. It's hard to convincingly fake either, I think. Is it? Yeah, because I, I won't name test. any names or give any ex like explanations for, for how I interact with certain people. But I am mm. occasionally exposed to people I would consider like not not maybe as uh yes we all meet stupid people in our lives <laughs> and look sometimes the things that come out of their mouths and the ideas they have yes seem like magical ideas that only an incredibly gifted uh mm. perspective <clears throat> would really <laughs> ever arrive at mm -hmm. And I think that's hard. That's a level of creativity to come up with fake bad ideas on purpose. That's difficult. Like, that's kind of what we do, though. This is kind of our, That's true, our, but... Our, but, but the, 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 uh, all right. The, the, the so, trick is... Have you guys ever heard of the Dunning-Kruger effect? Yes. There we go. Okay, sure. Because I think it just happened to me. Oh. <laughs> nope, nope. In, this, in that sentence. Just in that sentence. Where I'm like, I'm pretty sure I couldn't come up with stupid ideas, as stupid as stupid people. And then you were like, yeah, but what have you been doing for the last six months? And I'm like, all right, nope, yes. that's the point. <laughs> yep, all right, here we go. <laughs> but well, like, damn. 
like our ideas kind of make sense though like from there's a logical a... perspective there's a chain of logic that's where true. stupid people can ignore that chain of logic and Ooh. won't even know it exists could be possible They'll i just go, like ignored go idea a... to other idea i ignored a huge amount of chains of logic to bring you the hover truck today okay <laughs> 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 well, you, you did, but there's a logic to it. Uh, Hoverboards were usually popular. Yeah. Trucks okay, are usually okay. popular. I Smash was thinking that. Okay. Yeah, you didn't decide to, like, start a <laughs> business selling oranges because people like lemons. This is not a... Hmm. Like, like there's, there's a logic to what you were doing. Oranges. Stupid people yeah. are completely unbound by logic or facts. Okay, so my goal... Which is really actually difficult to emulate my goal this for why... next week is to bring an idea that is so ridiculous and illogical <laughs> that you guys are like wait what all right let's set up some rules for that though okay please no random generation from computers you got it you're not allowed to use weird logic leaps that are not internal uh-huh like no markov chains to make something that's uh, correct a I'm correct sentence, look. but absolute nonsensical bullshit. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no no weird generating jumps. Uh-huh. I agree. It's gotta come okay. from it's gotta come from the noggin. Right. The, the, we only have one place that can generate stupid ideas and it's our minds. <laughs> uh, can't, can't make an AI that does that. Um Yeah, can you make an AI that generates stupid I mean that. I, I mean yes. I think yeah. Is it an artificial intelligence if it's stupid? It's an artificial stupid. I, yeah, there we go. <laughs> How like to oh to have bad like thought processes lead to something not wrong ones just incorrect. Yeah. Is is a weird line for once robots start doing it. I feel like. It's not stupid. It's just wrong. That's hmm. stupid. It's just wrong. Well, I mean, it might be a useful creative activity. You know, like I think that I think there's a lot of good that can come out of like motion things together that shouldn't be together. You put an AI into into Wikipedia and you're like, learn all of Wikipedia and then tell me how this works. Like, and they'll they'll. Oof. Oh, have you guys seen the um? uh deep mind dream stuff where they get uh they basically set uh like <sighs> brain hold on they take a they take a, a a detection algorithm that's meant to like find cars okay like a visual processing thing yes and then instead of finding a cars in a picture they tell it they tell it to run backwards and generate an image off of another like, image like so here is a picture put a car in it and basically yeah, that's what it does it puts cars in everything it's like finds the cars in the image that are not there on and you can even like do this to process uh video and it comes off trippy as hell like straight up crazy crazy nonsense my favorite is when it does cats or dogs that was that's amazing and I think it's this very similar thing. It's like finding things where they shouldn't be, you know? Right. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All doing, right. No, doing point... it wrong on purpose. All right. No, point taken. All right. AIs can be stupid. Yeah. Perfect. Perfectly stupid AI. I don't know. You can do stupid stuff with AI. But, but I think it's the AI being, well, I mean, I guess. I don't know. If yeah, right. This, is the AI wrong? Is anything is happening it... ever that's not the way it's supposed to be? No. We're part of a plan, a grand plan. No, we're not. I'm not a part of a plan. Yep. Yep. No. You got ever moving equation. Mm. Yeah, physics is Anyhow. deterministic. So, uh, you yep. know. I do yep. think it is. Never I do think. We I... could not possibly be doing anything other than this podcast in this moment because we don't have free will. That's, that, I, yeah, I think that's probably right. God. I, so I have to say, I, I every once in a while I fantasize about becoming like a college professor. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. And just okay. like being fucking unhinged one. Yeah. That's like, yo, go outside, watch the birds today, guys. Life is short. It's weird. 
No homework. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, like the, next, the next class you come in and you're like, we're really behind, guys. We have to make some moves. This is <laughs> 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 we goofed up. up. <laughs> really goofed up yesterday. We needed to get some shit done. Double time. Double time. Everybody stress out. <laughs> no questions. I will not take questions for the next week. We don't have time for that. Get in the books. <laughs> Anyone who's late gets minus five points on the next exam. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, once you get tenure, you can basically do whatever you want. That oh, sounds God. rad. But it would be really cool to teach a uh, a class like like physics is deterministic, dealing dealing with fate or something. And it's yeah. like a little bit of physics and a lot of like it's gonna be okay. Yeah, but you nobody really has any choice. choice. <laughs> this is the way things are going to be from the beginning of time. Heat death is our end. Big bang at the beginning. You're hot somewhere to cold. In the you're just consciousness a, is an illusion. You're moving from hot to cold. That's what's going on. <laughs> you are a process <laughs> that is hot to cold, and nothing means anything. And for the rest of the semester, we're going to be dealing with the emotional toll that that is. <laughs> <laughs> Learning not to care about anything. Well, maybe not not care. <laughs> Not like not get overly attached yeah. to the physical world, right? Because it's oh, bleeding. I call it physics Buddhism. <laughs> physics Buddhism is a great is a great name for it. Whoa. Oh, welcome to the runs out of his chair club. Uh, I was I was tapping my fingers. Around. Yeah, you told us not to do that. Yeah, I did. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way life goes, isn't it? Yeah. You say something else to someone, and then you immediately fuck up. Uh, mm was good wow so uh yeah this this has been some good thunks yeah i I mean it's been a pretty decent thunk um i feel like we need one more thunk in the tank before it's full one more thunk uh i definitely Um, have thunks but like they were all like now's the time to buy blank business and now's the time to buy blank business and man i would probably hate to run blank business. It's going to take me a <laughs> while to one up hover trucks. No, that's true. You're not you're you're probably not going to one up hover trucks anytime soon. But uh and you can't just hover other things. That's just that's not the same. No. Although, can I pitch you on a great vehicle? Yeah, yeah, please. We get an old like Apache helicopter, right? <laughs> I love okay. it already. We put four fucking wheels on them and we make them a car. You drive that shit around. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love it. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Who doesn't want to drive? Like, everyone wants a helicopter. They're so cool to sit in. You got the fucking controls and shit. They don't yeah, do anything. Yeah. In it's like, yeah. And, like, but there's. But you don't know how to fly a helicopter. It's and dangerous. Expensive. In pain. And, like, oh my God. Oh. Ugh. Fucking put some wheels on it. It's a car now. Dude, it has a bunch of already have wheels or whatever. Yeah, but we gotta get them like car wheels, like so you can like you want to be able to go like you know ninety, a hundred on the freeway with an Apache helicopter. But you can always sit in the passenger seat and play with the sticks that don't do anything. Hmm. That's a great idea. That's brilliant. Sticks are impressive and important. This but is like, definitely one upping the hover truck here. You can chop the tail off so it doesn't so you don't like hit shit every time you turn. You're good. It's the size yeah. of a minivan, I think. <laughs> I think I don't really I've never seen an Apache helicopter. I, know how, I don't know how they big they are. I think, I think they're pretty they're probably big normal though. sized and normal weighted and yeah. definitely not bulletproof and heavy. Normal size. Normal size. Well just any helicopter. No. Man, you could do it with any helicopter. Oh, you, really, you could also do it with planes. Yeah. They are n- none. By the way, none of these things are safe to crash into other things with. No. At all. Yeah. No. The, the crash tests wouldn't go well. Yeah. Like, did, planes yeah. are designed to, like, crash into stuff. If you do that, it's just game over. Yeah. Planes are, planes are designed to, like, not crash. Yeah. You don't crash okay. them, and then. You're yeah, fine. Yeah. But uh, I will point out, 
you don't technically need to pass safety ratings to drive it. Hmm. You just need to like. You might need to to sell it though if you want to do this like. I don't think you need to sell it. I think you need to do it to register and then sell it. That so might... what you do is you sell this vehicle and then someone has to register it, and that's a goddamn pain in the ass, probably. But hmm. I think I think you might be on something though with the Apache helicopter specifically because that might be safe. Uh, do the Apache be. crash nicely? Yeah. I've seen in movies. I I do know that Black Hawk <laughs> crash like motherfuckers and are not safe, because I did see that in a movie. But once you've yeah. taken all of the high-yield explosives out of them... Like the fuel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and put wheels on them. Car, right. Car wheels. You could put bumpers in the, in front and back. Yeah. It's not fun. I will. Uh, Pretty. I think now I know what I want. The uh, well, I'm. It's gonna be really hard between uh, making a thumbnail of a hover truck <laughs> or an, uh, a helicopter car. That's gonna be tough. I mean, you could have them crashing in the middle, but that I, seems like a lot of work. It does seem like a lot of work, but I'm willing to do that work. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but I'm willing. Beep beep Apache car. That's our new. That's our new T-shirt. Go to our store. Beep, 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 I will. Apache car. I will send. I uh, Eric, I will send you uh, PNGs <laughs> after okay. uh, after the thumbnail. Yeah, go out. to our merch store and uh, at at dunktank.com slash merch. That's right. Um, go there. Buy uh, buy fueled by Denny's or uh, hold hands with your homies. One of those one classic ones. Yeah. You or literally. We know. Some I know bags. one of our viewers out there has a literally anything mug. I saw it. Ooh. Oh shit. We we sold merch, guys. We sold merch. Nice. It's uh. It's it's your dad. It's your dad. Yeah, probably. Yep. <laughs> we weren't gonna <laughs> close down. It's really great if, if other people also bought things, but people are buying our merch. Yeah. I might start buying our merch. It's pretty good merch. It's pretty good merch. Hey. Yeah. You should, uh, as as like. as <laughs> you should put that as a tagline. You should put that as the tagline. Hey, it's pretty good. We don't merch. profit off that at all, do we? Hmm? Look, do we profit off our merch? No. Yeah. Nice. It's cool. Nice, no nice, money. Nice. We also sell no merch, so it uh, pretty much balances. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. It's a nice, even keel. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, have what you, have you guys learned? We learned because I learned that uh, I want to ram my car to park it. <laughs> uh i learned that i should buy more stuff i should buy yeah. so much stuff and not have any money and that would be much better for me i'm gonna pitch that to my lovely wife as soon as i get out of here i think she's gonna really love that i think she, she is yeah, you should tell her it was our idea i will yep that was how <laughs> you guys convinced me and now that's what we should do yeah I learned that ice is a mineral. <laughs> Yay, ice. We've confirmed it here on Thunk Tank. Part, except for the part of ice that is is bad to immigrants, and they can go fuck themselves. Oh, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that ice. <laughs> fuck you, ice. That ice is not a mineral. No, but they are cold as ice. Ooh. Unless bullshit is a mineral. What about vanilla? <laughs> is bullshit a mineral? What about vanilla <laughs> ice? Sometimes vanilla you need ice. Is vanilla ice a mineral? Was I'm gonna say the one that was in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hell too? yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a mineral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and roll those credits. I think we're out. <laughs> Yo, this has been Thunk Tanked. Uh, you you've been listening to us. We won't. We haven't listened to you, but we will one day. Post in the or comments not. down below. We'll read them. Calvin will read them. If, if I will. they're good, you can make I, me you might read, read them. them to us. I'm reading them right now. Yeah. Ooh, are there comments already? 